Hello YouTube makeup lovers, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to Be Lounge Makeup, I really hope that you guys stick around and subscribe for more videos. First of all, I just wanna say that I hope you guys are all doing very, very well and that you are all staying safe. I am trying to stay positive and I was really excited to film this video for you guys because everybody likes to kinda disconnect from everything that is going on in the real world and who doesn't love massive beauty hauls. So for today I have a huge Sephora haul. It has been the Sephora Spring Sale and as I VIB Rouge I have been able to shop already for a few days. The sale for VIB Rouge ends May 1st. Being quarantined and Sephora sales is not good for the bank account because I have bought a ton of things. I think it's been, I mean, I've always bought some things here and there in Sephora sales, but I feel like it's been a really long time since I did such a big, massive one because this one was huge. I feel like last year I didn't really buy as much as I would normally buy maybe last year and the year before and now it was like I kind of went a little bit crazy I got everything that I was either running out of or hadn't had for a while and then some new things I was in the mood to try some new products I actually think I'm gonna have to do two haul videos for you guys this is the big box that I have in front of me which is my thumbnail it was hard to take the thumbnail picture because it was so heavy and I don't even think I'm capable of picking it up for you guys and showing you the box because it is huge I took a picture of it and posted it on my Instagram but then I actually got more things so I filled it up with more things so I think I'm probably gonna do a uh, haul part two because not only did I get things from the Sephora sale I also got some things from Caudalie because there was a huge sale that a follower on Instagram told me about and I was so excited about it and so grateful that I got that tip because I bought a lot of great things from Caudalie. The sale actually was better on the Caudalie website than the 20% off at Sephora. I also got some things from Lush, from Avita, and more things from Sephora. So those things have not arrived yet. So I think I'm just gonna combine all those products that I also got from those websites and the extra Sephora things that I got and maybe do like a second haul video because I think haul videos are always really fun. You guys seem to always enjoy it. This one is gonna be just like a regular haul where I show you the products. Let me know if maybe with the new stuff that I'm gonna get, would you want a regular haul or do you want me to do a try on haul? Put down in the comments below how you guys want me to do the next haul video. So I have a ton of products to share with you guys. So we're gonna be here for a little bit, but it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna try to go as quick as I can. As always, I'm gonna list all the products in the description box down below. Better get started. So the Sephora sale is always great for stocking up, especially on the items that are a little bit more pricey because you always get a nice little discount. And these are the times where it's good to, you know, buy those products that you've had your mind on. Also though, it is a good tip, like what I mentioned at the beginning with Caudalie, before buying it on the Sephora website, sometimes it's good to go to the brand website because sometimes their sales are really, really good for the brand and they may just even be better. I know a lot of times Charlotte Tilbury products go on sale as well throughout the year. So it's always just good to check it out because you never know, you may be able to save a little bit more from the brand's website. But whenever, the Sephora sale comes up. I always buy my most favorite candle ever. It's an expensive candle. It's normally $68 and it is from the brand Ness. So I bought the Ness Moroccan Amber candle. This is the big one with the three wicks. It is huge. This is my favorite candle. This was introduced to me by my brother's best friend. I got it as a birthday gift years ago and ever since then I have continued to purchase this. For me, the Moroccan Amber is the best scent that this brand carries and I love it. And then something I don't normally buy but I have bought it once or twice before is the actual Moroccan Amber Reed Diffuser. So I also got that as well and I took advantage of it because like I said, it is a pricey brand but I wanted to get the Reed Diffuser to put in my place and it looks like this and then you have the little sticks. So I'm very excited to put this in the entrance of my apartment and it just smells so good. Like I said, Moroccan Amber is the scent to get. It is the bomb. Another plus when it comes to those candles is that after I clean out the container and this is pretty much 
the main container to hold my makeup brushes. So it's multifunctional, it's glass, it's fancy, it's pretty. I already have a few of these. I have five of them in total already for my brushes and they are so pretty, so great, and you can use these also for a really long time. So I ended up getting two cream bronzers during this sale. I really wanted to try them out, and I was a little bit scared that they'd be too similar, but they're not. They're completely different type of cream bronzers. I got the Tarte C. This is the breezy cream bronzer in the shade Seychelles. And first of all, the packaging is adorable. It looks like this. It's like a really pretty mint green, and the product, is a nice bronzy type of color. This one is more bronzy. It gives you the shade of being in the sun. It's a little bit more warm toned. So I really, really liked it and I'm really into the cream products. I have already been for quite some time and I feel like for the summer, this is gonna be really, really pretty and beautiful. And then the other one that I got is the Huda Beauty Tantor Contour and Bronzer Cream. And this one I feel is more for contouring, for me at least, for my skin tone, because it is a more cool tone type of contour bronzer type of style. So I feel like I would wear this one more to do the actual contouring than to bronzing up my skin and giving me a more like sun-kissed type of glow like I would with the other one. So that is where I see that these are different, the Tarte and the Huda Beauty. Today was the first time that I actually tested out the Huda Beauty. I contoured with it when I was filming, so I did wanna like, I was like so excited to play with the makeup. I haven't been so excited to play with makeup, I feel like in a long time, and today it was so fun to do my makeup for filming for you guys. I wanted to go full glam. I even put on false lashes, which you know I never do, but I was just in the mood. I got the shade Fair, and it looked a little dark at first when I saw it, but it actually blended so nicely. I actually applied it with the Huda brush. Where are you? Oh, here it is. I actually applied it with the Face Sculpt and Shade Brush from Huda Beauty, which I actually really, really love. And because I love this one so much, I bought two more, which I'm gonna show you in a little bit. I used it with that, blended in it great. It didn't leave any harsh lines. Then I did add a little bit of powder bronzer on top, but it was really, really beautiful. So very happy with this purchase. Um, this one I did test out already. I haven't used this one, but the color is very beautiful and very bronzy, and I did swatch it, so they are very different, and they both had amazing reviews. Since we were on the topic of the Huda Beauty brushes, I actually got two new ones from Huda Beauty. I got the Face Buff and Blend, which is this one, and I got the Face Bake and Blend. So I'm really liking her brushes. These I have not played around with and this is the first time I actually see them. It is a very dense type of brush. Oh, it feels so good. It feels so good and soft. So this is the first Huda brush. Face Bake and Blend brush is a dual-ended brush, and it has one end that is a little bit more tapered. Oh man, these feel so good. And then the other end is a little bit more angled, which will probably also be really nice for contouring. So very excited to test these brushes out. From Hourglass, I also bought a new brush and I got the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Brush. This is also a dual-ended brush. It has a more tapered side and then it also has this other side. It does feel very different than the Huda ones. It feels like a little bit softer, less, I guess the bristles, even though they are synthetic, the other ones feel a little bit more more harder and synthetic, more like for more creamy products, even though these you can also use for creamy products. But I don't know if you know what I mean. It, it does have a different feel, but I really think that you can probably use these more for cream and powder, whereas the Huda ones I probably would just use only with cream. But these I'm sure you can do with both, but I feel like I use this more to like sweep on powder under my eyes and the other end maybe even to use for contour with powder and I probably would even test it out with cream. The reason I got this Huda brush is because I love this one. This one is called the Veil Powder Brush. If you can get your hands on it on the sale, it's a really good buy. It's $64. It has been sold out. When I first bought this one, this one was still available. I considered getting a second one, but I thought I don't need it, I already have one. But this one is a really good one and now it's sold out. From the brand Hourglass, I also 
got the Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Brush, which is this one right here. This brush I actually already had and I lost it. I don't know when I lost it or where. I have looked for it everywhere and I cannot find it. So maybe I left it when I went out of town in San Francisco in February. Maybe. I don't know where I put it. But... I cannot find it, so I went ahead and bought a new one because that brush I love. So a couple of products that I did want to restock on that I already know I love, and these are ones that I highly recommend. The first one is the Peter Thomas Roth Max Mineral Naked Sunscreen. This one has an SPF 45. This is one of the best sunscreens I think that I have ever used on a daily basis. It does have a very natural little tint. Not enough to be considered any type of you know, tinted moisturizer, foundation, or anything, but it's not so white, white, and I think the tint is just basically that it does not give you the white residue that a regular sunscreen would normally give. It is very, very good. It's an all-mineral sunscreen, and I love it. This is one that I was running out of and one that I cannot live without, so I wanted to have already a backup in place. I also got the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. This is the Transforming Moisturizing Super Cream. This is a cream that I have used many, many times. It is a very simple, straightforward cream that is very, very good for your skin. And another one that is a restock, highly recommended. I know they have a new one, I believe. And um, anything that is the confidence in a something, the confidence in a cleanser, the confidence in whatever, so far, all the ones I have tried have always been really, really good. From pharmacy, I restocked on my Clean B Ultra Gentle Facial Cleanser. This one is an amazing, very, very gentle cleanser. If you have sensitive skin, I highly recommend it. It is very, very good, and I love it. I think it is awesome, and I needed to have another one. I haven't had it already for a couple months, you know, a month or two maybe, and I just definitely want to restock on it. And also restocked on the Bosha Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil, which is this one. They actually changed the packaging. The bottle is now green. The other bottle was like a very like cloudy clear where you could see the actual oil. Now it is just a, a minty green color. But again, this is also a very good um cleanser well oil to remove your makeup i always do the double cleanse and i always either use a uh, oil or a balm i also use the balm from pharmacy the green clean and right now the one i'm currently using is an oil from fresh which i also loved so you know i just try to change them up and switch them up and oils i do like to try different oils and this is just an oldie but a goodie from briogia the scalp revival charcoal and coconut oil micro exfoliating shampoo this is another one that i have used a lot I have to always have it at hand and I took advantage of the sale to repurchase it. Just like the Clarisonic Lux, the Cashmere Cleanse, this is the facial brush head for my Clarisonic. For me, the brush that I like the most is the Cashmere. I feel it is the one that is best for sensitive skin. The other ones, even the one that is meant for sensitive skin is still a little too harsh for me. I do use it, but I always prefer the Cashmere and this is the one that I like the most and the best one for me. From the brand Fresh, I restocked on my creme and cn eye cream this is my go-to eye cream i have been using it for years to be exact i have been using this eye cream since april 2011 i think it is a very unique eye cream the reason i remember the date so like i so vividly i remember the date because it was my birthday and i was with my sister and my friend in las vegas and we had an amazing day at the fresh store they were super nice to us and they gave me a sample of the eye cream i hadn't even bought it then i had a sample i tried it and i was wowed i have tried so many different eye creams that people have raved about and nothing compares to this this is my go-to the it's expensive it's over a hundred dollars it lasts forever because it's a different consistency. It's almost like a paste type of thing. It's not like a fluffy, squishy cream. It lasts forever. I know I've talked about it before, but I can't stress enough how this is the best eye cream ever. I love how it makes my concealer look. And it's the only one that I ever use right before I apply my makeup. I use it every day in the mornings right before I apply my concealer. I actually put my foundation first, then I apply the creme ancien eye cream and then I go in with my whole little concealer routine and I love it. But this is like one of those holy grail products that if it were to ever be discontinued, I don't even know what I would do. But it is just such a good 
eye cream and I have never ever seen anything like it. Also from the brand Fresh, I bought the Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Dream Face Cream. This is a super Lotus night recovery. I did stock up on some nighttime cream products because I find myself I had a bunch of creams that were a little bit lighter, a little bit more for the daytime and pretty much those are the ones that I use always during the day and I had to run out of the creams that I like to use at night. So I wanted to try this one out. Look how beautiful and blue the packaging is. I have tested out the Lotus one for the daytime and the nighttime one had really, really good, very, very good reviews. I remember, I think, I feel like the first time I tried to buy it, it was sold out and I ended up getting it on another try that I went on the website during the sale. But in the nighttime, I do like very simple but rich night creams because at night is when I use all my treatments. I use the retinol. I also use my Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow, which are a little bit, you know, hard, like heftier type, stronger products to use on your skin. So I do like to keep my night creams simple but still rich, moisturizing, anti-aging and all those type of things. Nothing too strong with any, you know, ingredients that can be too much on my skin paired with the other serums that are more treatment type of serums. I did actually get some creams for the day. One, because I had run out of my Origins Vitazing that had SPF. The Vitazing does have a little tint to it. And they don't sell Vitazing on the Sephora website. They do still have it on the Origins website, but the Sephora website did have the Ginseng. I feel like I've tested it out before. I feel like I tried it before once. This has SPF 40, but it does have energy boosting tinted moisturizer. So this is definitely one that I just wanted to replace. Um, I think it's good. I feel like I've tested it out, but I can't remember. But I did want to restock on it, and I think it's going to be a great one for the daytime because it does have SPF. And then from Dr. Jard, I wanted to try out the Serum Mitting Cream. This is Moisture Retention Shield. I feel like this is a cream that I would use more during the day, not at night. I'm glad that this has an expiration date because I do still have some day creams left. It expires in 2022, so... I am good with this one. I'm probably not going to be opening it up. It comes in one of these like little tubes and I'm very excited about it. Once you open it though, it does have a 12 month expiration. So I do not want to open it, but um, I love that the box and that the product actually has an expiration date. So like even if you don't use it, if you forget about it, you know when you have to throw it out. So that's important. And a lot of products don't do that. They just have the little expiration date, like 12 months or six months. And it annoys me because sometimes I take maybe six months to use it. So is it still safe? Most of the time you can always tell with like the smell of the product, but I do appreciate that they do put that in the packaging. From Caudalie, I also got the Resveratrol Lift Cream. I don't know if I pronounced that right or I probably butchered it. This is a night infusion cream. It does have ceramides, hyaluronic acid, and again, like I said, I wanted to try out some new night products. I love the brand Caudalie. I love the brand Fresh. These, are, these brands that you keep on hearing me show you products of are pretty much brands that I love and trust. So that is why I chose those to try out new products. And this is what the cream looks like. So also had a very, very good review. So this is what happens when you shop in excess is that you forget that you got a product and you actually get it twice. So I bought this little set of beauty blenders I love purple, one of my favorite colors, and they had a nice little set that has three beauty blenders and a little mini soap up here. I accidentally bought two, and I have a friend who already told me that she would like buy it off of me, but um, it's a really cute little set of three beauty blenders, so technically I feel like with the price after the discount, it's pretty much like if you were getting one free, so I just thought that they were really cute, and I bought one. I didn't mean to get two. I bought a new Naked palette. It has been a while since I have bought a Naked palette. They have come up with a couple new ones in the past couple years. And I have never, I have not bought them. I feel like the last one I bought was the smoked one, which I didn't love all that much. I ended up giving that one away. I loved, of course, the original Naked, the Naked 2, and the Naked 3. And then that's kind of like where I stopped buying the traditional Naked type palette. Okay. But when the Urban Decay Naked Honey palette came out, I had my eye on it for a while. This is what it looks like. And these are the colors of it. It also comes with a brush 
The colors look really, really beautiful, and it is actually what I am wearing today on my eyes. I wanted to test it out. I did my makeup for you guys today with this palette, and I have to say, I loved it. I loved how the products blended. I put a lot of the colors on my lid with my finger. They went on beautifully. They blended beautifully. I was super excited. I was like, wow, when I was doing my eye makeup, it was so good. So yes, I've only tried it once, and I am raving about it, but it was just so good. I was so happy with my makeup look. The only color that I did add that is not from the palette is my inner corner highlight from MAC Nylon because that is like my go-to. Nothing that ever has been made has ever been compared to that inner corner highlight. It's kind of like my Creme Ancien Fresh Eye Cream. Nothing can beat that inner corner highlight and I always use it. But this palette is amazing. I mean, for trying it out for the first time, I loved it. I used a bunch of these colors, Hide, Drip, Sting, Keeper on my crease. And then on my lid, I used Honey on the inside, which is a more golden one. I used, how do you say this? Hibic, Hbic in the middle. And then I used Queen on the outer corner. And I just loved it. So I'm very excited. I love these naked ones. And when I saw this one was more like up, up my alley with the type of neutrals that they had. I love them. Kind of more reminds me of the originals 1, 2, and 3. And that is why I wanted to test it out. And it did not disappoint today when I was doing my eye makeup. From the brand Benefit, I restocked on my What's Up. This is a soft focus highlighter for the face. I feel like this is like one of the originals of the cream highlighters that came like this in a stick. I love it so much. This is just a very simple one. It's a pretty decent price, especially with a sale. It has another end that has a little brush, which I never use. I feel like the other end is just like useless, but the actual product is amazing. It's very soft. This is one that I like to use on a daily basis. It's a really good one to have in your collection. It's just a very basic, simple type of highlighter. And then also from Benefit, I love the Benefit palettes. I've mentioned before, I'm not a huge fan of the box type blushes and highlighters or like the hula, the box packaging. I'm not a big fan, even though the product are really good so when they come out with these palettes I always like to check them out and now I got the cheek stars reunion tour I already have one of these and I always see like if they have colors that I don't already have and this one the reason I bought it is because this one did have I believe three that I did not already have so this one looks like this it has Dallas Sugar Bomb I didn't have. The Cookie Highlighter is pretty much the main reason that I got so excited because it does have the Cookie Highlighter in there and this highlighter looks like very, very vibrant. It also had Georgia, which I did not have. And then it had Hula, which I do have, but Hula is such a good bronzer and you can always get such good use out of it. So I was really excited about this one. This is what the palette looks like on the inside. It's very beautiful and it's just easier to get into these benefit products in this packaging in the palette than in the actual boxes. So I do buy the boxes, like for my Dandelion Twinkle, I love that highlight. I always get that one in the box form because you know I can't be buying these palettes whenever I wanna get a new one and that's one that I use a lot. And a highlight is I guess easier to use maybe from those boxes because the brush is smaller to go in the box than like a bronzer or even a blush. So very excited about this one. Some more goodies that I already know and love that I restocked on. These are not new products. These are products that I have already shared with you guys in the past. The KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub. This is from the brand First Aid Beauty. This is a really, really good one. This is very good for the Keratosis Pilaris. I used to get it a lot in the arms and I have been using this one. I really like it a lot. I've also used the KP Duty one, which is also very, very good. This one is also good that they sell at Sephora. So I bought this one again because I like it and I use it on my arms and they're like super soft pretty much it is gone but the maintenance is also really important so that they don't come back because those little suckers come back from way I got the leave-in conditioner this is one of my favorite leave-in conditioners I've been already buying this one for a long time the one I had it was like pretty much running out so it's good to stock up on it I had a friend who wanted me to get her some in the sale and when I went back on the website to get it they were sold out so it's a very very popular Hopefully, if you can get your hands on it, you are very lucky. You should definitely get that one. A lot of the times throughout the sale, you see things that are sold out and they do come back. Um, that one I have checked again and it has not come back just yet. I also got from Kiehl's the Ultimate Strength Hand Salve. This is one that I just recently had in my empties and there was a lot left over because I had gotten the really big one. In this case, I got the 2.5 fluid ounce one and I think the size is perfect for a hand cream. This is a very good 
hand cream. It's a very strong and it's very good for your hands, especially now that we're applying hand sanitizer like 75 times a day. Hand sanitizer really dries out your hands. I feel are horrible now. I mean, I've always been an excessive hand washer, but I did steer clear of the Purell and now I'm using it all the time and it's just so drying. So this hand salve from Kiehl's is very, very good. From the brand Hourglass, I got the Vanish Flash highlighting stick. I got it in the, in the shade Champagne Flash and the packaging looks like this. These also had really good reviews and this is the champagne color. Then I kind of regretted getting this champagne color because it is very similar to my Benefit WhatsApp. So I think maybe I'll try to get another shade but yeah, this is um, another highlighting stick. I just felt like I just didn't really need two that are in such a similar color. And the same thing happened to me with these cream blushes that I got, that when I got them in the mail after, I realized, wow, these are pretty similar. I would have liked to get other shades. So maybe I will do that. From the brand Sayare, I got the Dewy Blush. This is the Glossy Chick cheek tint and it comes in a little tube like this and this one I did swatch and I also tried it today this is the color that it looks like right when you put it out and see look there it is again a little bit goes a long way the first time I tested it out I had tried it on with too much but it looks like a really beautiful pinky type of color. So I was really excited, that is what I like. Today I did use it on my cheeks and I did put very little and then I just like patted it on my cheek. But it comes out really, really dark at first. And then the other cream blush I bought is one of the Fenty Beauty ones. I got the shade Cool Berry. These just came out, it's called Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Blush. And the color is just so similar. So I kind of was like, man, I should have gone something different. Even though it looks a little bit different on the packaging, it looks a little bit more plum. But when you pretty much put it on your finger, you really just can't tell the difference. So this is it right here. I don't know if you can tell. But I mean, it is also very, very pretty. The consistency, maybe the Sayare one has a little bit more of a glow to it. It just, it just glides on very, very nice. I did test it out and I really, really liked it. So um, again, don't be surprised if you see other shades in my next haul because I do wanna try other colors. Um, but both of them were very, very pretty, but they're just so similar. I should have done something a little bit different. I restocked on my concealers. My go-to concealer is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer. I get two shades, two C and one N. This is probably my number one concealer at the time. I like it even more than the Tarte Shape Tape. I like it even more than the Urban Decay Naked. Those are some of the concealers that I always talk about that have been you know, in my collection. I always have them in my collection. I do reach for them, but if I had to pick one concealer, it would definitely be the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion. So I got two new ones of the same shades that I already have because it's like what I use the most. Then from Charlotte Tilbury, I went ahead and got some eyeliners. I recently shared with you guys in a favorite the Charlotte Tilbury eyeliners. I have the black one. I also have the pillow talk one and they're amazing. Her pencil liners are amazing. So I got a new one, the Rock and Coal. I got the shade, where is the shade? Barbarella Brown. So I got a brown shade. They're just so nice and creamy. They glide on so nicely. Let me see if I can put it here for you guys. Like it just glides on so nicely and smoothly. It's great for the waterline. I can even use it very well over like eyeshadow. You know how sometimes over eyeshadow, it's harder to go in with the pencil. This just colors in so nicely. I love the pillow talk. That one is more like a reddish type of brown and the black one is amazing. So Charlotte Tilbury can do good eyeliners. Highly recommended. I think it's probably my go-to eyeliner brand right now. Urban Decay, of course, 24 seven eyeliners. Those are really great. But these Charlotte Tilbury ones, I love. Also from Charlotte Tilbury, she came out with some dual sided pencils. And this is the Eye Color Magic Liner Duo. I got the shade Copper Charge. And it looks like this, it has the two ends. One end is more of a matte color. This is also like a reddish type of brown. And one end is a more metallic color. 
and that is what the two colors look like so i just thought that they were really pretty and they glide on just like the other ones glide on and very very beautiful so i was very excited about trying these out from tatcha i got the kisu lip mask which came in a little cute little box like that the product comes with the little spatula and this is what the packaging looks like it just looks so like drenching for the lips it looks like it'd be so yummy on the lips of course i couldn't contain myself and i already tried it with the little spatula it is very good it is very thick it's something that i think i would really enjoy in the evening i do say that i still like my sarah hap lip balm more so the sarah hap lip slip i love that's the best one i think and this one doesn't feel as I don't know the other one I feel like this one does feel sticky and thick and rich but I feel like the Sarah Hap feels more more sticky but like it's really gonna stay put this one feels like it's still gonna like move around and glide a little bit more it's a little bit more slippery than the lip slip the lip slip like really sticks on there and it makes your lips nice and shiny and they just feel so good but this one also felt really really great so I'm excited to use this one from the brand Ilia I got the super serum skin tint this has SPF 45 I got it in the shade Formosa number four and this I saw them apply this online I think that's probably like on Instagram it's the first Ilia product that I ever test out and it just looks so yummy on the skin it comes with like a dropper type of thing and it does have a scent if you don't like scents it does have a little bit of a stronger type of scent it doesn't bug me at all i'm not too sensitive with scents unless it's like a really bad scent um but since it does have all that sunscreen that could be why because it does have spf 40 but this just had really good reviews i really wanted to test it out because it's a different type of product it's a serum with a tint it has spf the color worked out okay for me i already did test it out a little bit on my chin the formosa and i liked it and the last two products that i got are from the brand nude sticks and these are the cream lip and cheek pencil I love whisper so I restocked on whisper that is like one of my go-to nude shades for the lips whisper is amazing I have it I used it up and it is such a great nude color for the lips it is like the perfect nude it does have a little bit of pinking it more like a pinky nude but it's, it is not too pink but I just love how it feels and then I also got the shade called love and this one I did already test out. It is a really beautiful pink color, but it doesn't look too, too pinky or anything like that. It's just a very nice, very nice shade of pink. If you like pink, this is a really good one. It went on really nice on the lips. Man, I should have put this one on today. I didn't, I put on a regular lipstick on. I didn't, I forgot that I even had one of these to share with you guys today. I didn't put it on, but it is a really, really good one. So I really wanted to test it out. Oh, and I did also get my little birthday present my birthday was in april so i selected the briogeo birthday gift for the beauty insider and it came with a little scalp revival little charcoal and coconut oil exfoliating shampoo and then it also came with the don't despair repair deep conditioning mask so i did get my little birthday present that you get on a yearly basis from sephora so also got that in the shipment so that is it i really hope that you guys enjoyed this crazy sephora massive haul at least part one because i do have a lot more goodies coming my way i did splurge on a pat mcgrath palette so i'm excited for that to come in and share it with you guys i also got a really good natasha denona palette that was half off pretty much on the website it was a blush palette and just i got a couple other goodies from other brands like lush um the caudalie products so i'm really excited to share with you guys those in a second haul like i had mentioned earlier but i'm really excited i have a lot of makeup to test out and keep busy let me know what other videos you guys would like to see coming your way from b lounge makeup i am planning on doing a hair video and just pretty much showing you which ones are my favorite hair products and favorite hair tools oh i also got a lot of good hair products from sephora so those are also coming i wanted to test out some new hair products because i pretty much have been sticking with the same ones for a very very long time so i do have a lot of those also coming so the haul video will be going up the hair favorites will be going up I want to say thank you so much to you guys as always for watching my videos you know how much i appreciate it this video has been so much fun to film for you guys 
stay safe, stay positive throughout these crazy times that we are going through. And I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye.